today's video, I will unbox and review the Survive Attack emergency water bladder. This is a 26 uh, gallon uh, water bladder that I purchased from Amazon and I intend to, to use it during our uh, camping trips. Um, as I opened the box, uh, it was shipped like this, as you can see here in the box. Uh, and uh, there was a card that included uh, a short brief about the company and uh, contact information for warranty. And then uh, the water bladder itself uh, wrapped with this uh, thin plastic bag. Um, and as you can see, it's uh, pretty uh, straight uh, forward. The bladder comes with four hard plastic corners and uh, four seat belt like straps uh, on each corner. Uh, those uh, hard corners have uh, are, uh, five screws. They used five screws to attach them to the bladder itself. And these, uh, you know, um, seat belt like uh, also are molded into the bladder as, as well. Uh, this is a pretty hard plastic with uh, about one inch uh, hole to use for attachment. Uh, the molding uh, is uh, basically done through heat and glue. You can see here it's not always 100% uh, perfect. Uh, but uh, I didn't see any issue with uh, leaks uh, either. You use this to fill the bladder and uh, this one here is uh, well attached and the cap uh, has an O seal on it and it performed uh, super well uh, during my test and uh, it's about one inch diameter. Corners are exactly assembled the same and uh, they all have uh, their uh, issues with uh, cosmetic quality control as far as uh, assembly goes. None of them leaked but they all uh, had uh, cosmetic uh, uh, imperfections. Uh, the valve here uh, is pretty well made. Uh, uh, during my first test, uh, I was uh, uh, happy with the way it performed and it was uh, pre-assembled uh, out of the box. Now this is the bag of the bladder. Uh, this uh, surprised me a little bit because uh, initially I thought this bladder would be made out of a tube plastic and uh, the top and the bottom would be sealed as you see here. But it turned out actually this bladder is made out of a, a sheet of plastic, uh, some sort of a plastic that's basically folded right there from the middle, uh, glued together and uh, the top and the bottom are also uh, folded and glued uh, as well. Uh, they uh, look like they used uh, heat and glue to uh, assemble the bladder and uh, you know there are, there are, there are issues, uh, cosmetic issues like I said all around as far as the assembly process uh, but again uh, when I tested it with water uh, there were no leak leakage and uh, uh, it, it, the overall uh, feeling I have uh, uh, basically uh, based on the limited time I have uh, kind of used this uh, just for testing. Uh, I feel comfortable uh, taking it uh, to a camping trip without worrying about leakage or any quality issues overall. You see here uh, uh, the residue of the glue is the shiny uh, part of the plastic there. It seems like it's brushed through and there is uh, some uh, melted plastic over there and that's presence across all uh, four corners basically you see it right here as well and uh, it seems like they've taken these four corners and uh, pressed them with heat uh, to basically uh, lock them down and then they put these hard pieces of plastic with five screws on top of them uh, and i'm pretty impressed with the thinking because uh, those uh, uh, attachment points will be extremely useful uh, in any sort of uh, storage environment to secure the bladder uh, in an RV or a camper or uh, 
a trailer or a pickup truck. Uh, the measurement here you see, I will uh, let the video roll here and uh, you can, uh, the number speaks for them itself. Final impressions and testing. Overall, uh, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. I think this water bladder is going to serve as well. Uh, aside from the overall cosmetic quality control issues that I have shared already, uh, I think this bladder is uh, made well. I think they have uh, thought through uh, how this is going to be used. I think the different uh, points of uh, attachments that they have uh, added to four corners will be useful in terms of uh, how this bladder could be used. Uh, one area uh, of improvement uh, is uh, I wish they have added uh, um, uh, attachments to uh, how uh, we fill this bladder with water. Uh, I would have expected to see uh, some sort of uh, fittings that will basically help us uh, attach the hose uh, to this bladder and make the filling process straightforward and easy. Uh, as it is, it's not. Uh, so you would have to basically uh, unless uh, you make it pretty messy with water, you would have to go to the local hardware store and find a way to get uh, some sort of fittings to attach the hose directly to the bladder so that uh, you can make the process uh, easy and uh, straight uh, forward. Otherwise, it's not. Um, the uh, valve here uh, is uh, well made, uh, as I mentioned, and it works well but the water flow is pretty slow. So I suspect that if you need uh, better water flow, you would have to attach a DC motor uh, to do so. Uh, otherwise, uh, just uh, you know, depending on the gravity, the water flow is pretty uh, slow. Thank you for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and like this video. Thank you.